And we're here with Tom Slingsby. We're going to talk about the sail controls and how to make how to get the best out of the sail. So Tom, two main sail controls, Kicker and Cunningham. Um, talk us through how you use them. Uh, yeah, so upwind, um, obviously the moth is very sensitive to uh, the, the bang, um, kicker, whatever you want to call it. Um, so upwind, I'm basically, there's a lot of bang you need to pull on, but basically I'm looking at these telltales here. I, I glance up further and look a bit more, but if I am I pull on the vang, I get roughly where I think it should be, and then I'm looking at the telltales to see if I've got the windward telltale going, I don't quite have enough um, vang on. If I've got the leeward telltale going, I've overdone the vang. So the goal is obviously to get them all streaming, and I'm just basically looking when I'm sailing upwind in a straight line and everything's comfortable, have I got the leeward telltale or the windward, or are they both flowing? Leeward telltale, I ease, if it's going, I ease some bang. Windward telltale, I pull on some bang. Um, moving to the Cunningham, I basically get my bang in the right spot, and as long as there's not huge pressure differences of more than, say, four, five knots, then I might have to change the bang in different gusts. But if it's within five knots of pressure differences, I'm playing the Cunningham upwind. Um, Basically it's a pressure thing and a, a moding thing for me. If I want to go fast and, uh, and there's plenty of wind, I have that right on and I'm trying to just flatten out the sail as much as possible and uh, less drag and go quick. If I want to go into a higher groove and I want a little bit more entry angle, I ease Cunningham and I sail in a bit of a higher groove. But for that, that's really my accelerator, the, um, the Cunningham. For if I want to go fast, I have it on tighter. If I want to go a little slower in a higher mode, I ease it off. And, and how big would you say that adjustment is on the Cunningham? Uh, it's basically, if I want to go into a high mode or I come into a light, lighter patch of wind, I let it go and for me, it just goes to my friction amount. So if I have it right on and then I, if I've got the bang on with it, I'll ease that out and basically where it wants to go. It just frees up to the amount you need and it's not a huge adjustment but it's uh, it's definitely enough to power you up through a lighter section. So just the subtle adjustment, just as you say, to get through those lighter bits. If, if it does go more than say five knots of pressure differences, I'll ease a bit of bang and then I'll also do cutting him so I can get even more off than I usually would. Yep. And trimming the main upwind, how much are you finding you're working the sheet or what are you looking to do? Yeah, obviously it's a combination of steering and angle of heel and everything, but I'm really looking just to have small movements. I want to be block to block on the on the um, the main sheet and then off maybe that far. So it's sort of like a foot of movement um, going upwind. Yeah, so upwind I'm sort of anywhere from sort of there to... Yeah, we don't have much wind here, but that's probably off and that's probably on one foot of play. Um, that's sort of my upwind and I'm just really just trying to keep it on that edge. If I'm, if I'm having to ease too much, I just have to steer up a bit more. If I'm having to block to block all the time, it means I'm just sailing too high a groove. And then you're just focusing on these lower telltales yep. and adjusting Cunningham to, to bang to mm -hmm. pressure changes and, and, really, and bang to bigger pressure changes. Yeah, and once I get my rough setting, I'm not looking at the sail too much, to tell you the truth. I, I know it's in the right area, and I'm just looking at the wind ahead of me. I'm just yep. if, if I see a light patch coming, I'll let the Cunningham off before I get to it. And if I see and I see the we're coming out of the light patch and the breeze is coming on, about half a second before it happens, Cunningham's back on. So as soon as I get the gust, I'm accelerating. Got you. And are you looking at the leech telltales at all? Uh, I just make sure they're in flow. I mainly use the leech telltales downwind just to make sure I've got flow and I haven't got too much twist or anything weird going on. Uh, but in general, I just use these ones here. Yeah. So that's quite good. So now moving on to downwind, we're approaching the windward mark and we're about to do a, a run. What are you? What's going through your head? What are you going to let off? What are you going to do? Yeah, so obviously on the moth, as we go around the top mark, you've got a lot of different controls. Your ride height, your wand, your gearing. But uh, you take that away, I will go, so if we're in upwind settings for your uh, Vang and Cunningham, first thing I'll do is I'll over ease the Vang. So just say I want to go, that's my downwind setting, I'll ease it further than that. And then, and then I'll go Cunningham and I'll ease that as much as it'll go. 
and then I'll reach back in and bang back on a touch. That just it gives me a little bit more depth in the front um, for, for the uh, amount of bang I sail with downwind. So I over, over ease the, cunning, uh, the bang and then ease as much Cunningham as possible and then just firm up the bang again. Yeah. So over easing the bang so the Cunningham will naturally jump yes. off as much as you can get. And for, and so Cunningham really downwind, it's again, it's a moding thing. If I want to go fast and high card and go quick, I have, uh, I take all the creases out of the, the luff. If I want to sail a VMG mode, I just ease it off as much as it'll go and usually there's some creases when you've got a bit of wind pressure there. With Vang, I'm really conscious on where I am with my uh, bridle and blocks. I, my, I think a little secret that I had downwind that I was quite fast was I was always able to sail with the, the blocks quite far apart. And I, so I think the reason I, that was happening is because I sailed with more Vang than most people. Yeah. Um, if I was going downwind and I was always having to squeeze the main sheet on and the, the telltales were lucky, it means I didn't have enough Vang on. If I was always permanently easing, easing out and I could never get, and the lure telltale was always going, I just had to ease some bang off. Yep. So my goal was to have the blocks about that far apart and have the telltales flowing. The lured one was going, I would uh, ease a bit of bang. The windward one was going, I'd pull on bang at about that setting. Yeah. So you'd almost set up downwind by getting your main sheets roughly where you wanted mm -hmm. it and then adjusting the bang yep. and the some respects to cutting them to set the tail. Yeah, I think if, you, if you're too, too much bang off and you're too deep and you're having to sail too tight, you just, I mean, we're sailing now flatter and flatter downwind yep. uh, with these sails. I remember a few years ago when I was sailing downwind, you used to deepen the whole sail, but now it's all about keeping your apparent wind forward and sailing fast. I hike uh, almost as hard downwind as I do upwind. Um, I sail with pretty similar amount of heel downwind to what I do upwind. And, uh, and I keep the sail relatively flat. In the past, where I might have eased a heap of vang, like a lot, right now I ease half that. I probably go that much off, I'm cutting him off, and that's my downwind setting. It's probably on a, a roughly a 48 to one system, it's probably I'm easing two feet maximum of, um, of vang. Yeah. And uh, do you look at the twist much downwind? I, I do look at the twist um, a little. If I'm powered up, I am very flat. Yep. Um, if I am looking for power, I'll twist a, l a little bit more. Well, I'm just trying to create more depth up top. Um, but uh, I'm not too driven by it, as long as my telltales are, my leech telltales are flowing. Yeah, I, I don't worry about twist too much. So on the DS baton, again, I just try to tension it so the creases come out. Mast rake is quite important in the in the moth in for a number of reasons um, one obviously boat speed and in general the moth seems to go better with more rake but almost more importantly than that is boat handling and being able to tack and jibe cleanly without your body hitting the boom so as a as a rule what i do is set my boat up pull the bang on to maximum and then measure between my datum is between the two wing bars here and the boom um, and as a rule for me, I don't go below 75 centimetres. At the moment, I'm on 78 centimetres. So I think it, it's personal preference, but between 70 and 80 centimetres is a good benchmark for the majority of sailors. And that way, I think you've got enough room to tack and jibe without the boom interfering. I would always launch my boat in the controls in what I would call an eased condition. This is the sort of condition I would sail the boat in, in a low riding state. Relatively powered up mainsail. What we're trying to achieve from the moth is a big shape change, A, between light air and heavy air, but also between upwind and downwind. And the way we achieve this is essentially by pulling on the kicker and the cutting them relatively hard. So as the, as the wind increases, I'm increasing my vang tension and you'll find very quickly, even in 11 knots of wind, once you're fully foiling and, and going fast, you're get, trying to get that sail relatively flat upwind. So as my vang increases, so does my cunningham. 
I'm really trying to flatten out this mainsail. When I round the windward mark, I then obviously ease the kicker and cutting them off. Here it's, it's quite important not to ease too much because the speeds we're doing downwind now, you need to keep quite a straight leech and not have too much twist. So the first thing I will do is ease the cutting them off all the way. I would then ease the vang, you know, beyond my downwind setting just to help the cunningham go up, but then bring the vang back on so that I keep a straighter leech, but with the cunningham eased. So often on the shore, it's surprising that when you look at your downwind settings for that day, the mainsail's way flatter than you think it might be. But um, it's all about building a parent and keeping, keeping some leech.